Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Valen. I'd like to welcome you back to Stardew Valley. Today we have the Spirits Eve Festival, which should be exciting, but it happens at 10 o'clock tonight, so we have to make sure to remember that. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment, and now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a cloudy and gusty with winds throughout the day. Sorry, I just got done watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. <laughs> Welcome back to Wellwitz Oracles. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Really? Annoyed on Spirits Eve? Man. Sounds like they just have problems. Ooh, pickled plums and... Or pickled pumpkins. Which is a good day. Oh. Uh, oh, we don't have our watering can to water Brock. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Well... Oh, man. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with myself. Um... We can... You know what? Let's not pickle pumpkins because I wanted to... Well, we can pickle one. Because I want to make the other two into wine. Or I see if I can make it into wine. Alright. Chop this down. Get it out of the way of my farm. Yes. And my pumpkins came in! Yes! All of my pumpkins came in today! On the day of the Spirit Eve, it's a good day. Yes, look at all of them. So happy. So big and beautiful. Ah, yes. Come on. Yes, 50 pumpkins. Oh my goodness. It's glorious. See, I like having more high quality and... Um, normal quality than this because that means I could turn these into um, wines and pickled pumpkins and such throughout the season if I run out of things to do. There we go. Total of 12. Hey, you know what? Take two. Um, does Abby need anything as a gift? Because I know she likes pumpkins. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Yes, Abby does need a gift. So we can give her one of the pumpkins. And now we can also profit. Yes. So much profit. Oh, what what am I in here for? I thought I came in here for something. No, I did not. I didn't mean to do that. Actually, why would I do that? Because I can give her amethyst. Pumpkins are more valuable. I'm pretty sure she'd like a gem over a pumpkin. Well, I don't know. She may want to carve one out today. Yeah, let's go for the roleplay aspect of it. She may want to carve one out. First off, let's say hello to our chickens. How are you doing today, girls? Oh, y'all look hungry. Juju looks fine. Henry looks fine. And now, take this. They didn't produce an egg, which I mean, I think that means that I did not feed them yesterday. I didn't provide them hay, and if so, I'm sorry girls, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. But I have no way to water these. Clay is still working on my stuff. And we're going to bring over this pumpkin to Abigail. And take the hazelnut. So, how is everyone doing this fine day? I'm doing fantastic. It is a brand new and chipper day for me. Duh. Ooh, another hazelnut. Good lord. Are you sure the spirits are annoyed today? Because they're giving me a whole bunch of stuff. Today's festival is being set up. Come back later. What? No. I... What am I supposed to do all day with myself then? Um... If I wanted to be a jerk, I could go to Robin and say, Hey, I need you to build my thing. I need you to build a thing for me. You don't get to go to the Winter's Festival, or the Spirit Sea Festival. No, do not eat the hazelnut. I actually need to change that out. Well, I guess I'm just going to be going around and finding stuff to do until the Spirit Sea Festival. So, I will meet you tonight. It's almost time. It's almost time. Ten minutes. Ah! It started! The Spirit Sea has begun. God, that was a long time to wait for me. Well, I did some small stuff. Jack-o-lantern! A whimsical fall decoration. We'll take the rare... Will we take the rare crow? No, we'll do it later. We'll do this all later. So let's talk to everybody. Eek! I'm too scared. No. Hi, Valen. 
If you had a, a productive fall, I actually have. It's starting to get quite cold. Crops won't hold on much longer. But Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. He's got skeletons out there. Don't get too close to the cage. You already know me better than most. I can kill these guys without even blinking an eye. I have no idea how these skeletons are walking. Creepy. It's pretty cool though. Why is there no more pumpkin ale? One of my iridium infused maces would make quick work of those things. Well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile wood and stone. I hadn't seen Maru in hours. I hope she's alright. It's a lot of fun to cook well with pumpkin. Such an interesting fruit. Well, hello, Valen. It's chilly, isn't it? I, I guess. Pam! I'll come to any event in free grub. You won't see me in the haunted maze, though. Vincent's upset that I won't let him go into the haunted maze, but he's just a little boy. I get scared very easily. I'll leave the haunted maze to the younger people. Mmm. Hi. Sorry. Mm. Mouthful of blackberries. Okay. Do you like the jack-o'-lanterns? I carved them myself. Good evening, Valen. Have you ventured into the haunted maze yet? It's quite spooky. That strange man who lives in the tower sets all it up himself. He wouldn't let anyone near while he's working on it. Mother won't let me go into the maze. <laughs> oh, oh, poor baby. Poor, poor baby. Oh, well. Well, that's everybody here. Let's go into the maze, shall we? It's Maru. I think I've been this way. No. Wait. Oh, you found me. Truth is, I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. Oh, poor little Henry. The poor doctor. Alright, so I think I recall this maze. You can actually get close to these things. They don't really bother you too much. Uh, ooh, staticky screen. The vapor for the cauldron is making my head spin. But I can't seem to leave. Ooh, spooky. She can't leave. Well, that's good. That means I get to go to the finish line of the maze. I don't even know if this is too much of a maze. It's very small. Alright, spooky TV. Oh, there's something weird over there. But how do I get to it? I know how. I know exactly how. Abby! I can't go on. Spiders. Oh. I kill him. I got an obsidian edge. It's easy. Oh, it's a mystery spot. Hey, it's Sam. That's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. No, it's not. Why do you think he puts a question mark there? It's because you can pass through. Ha ha. Actually, does it say anything? No. Okay. And from here on, you're pretty much home free. To get the prize. And you get the golden pumpkin! You received a golden pumpkin. It's valuable, but it has no purpose. I've always wondered if you should give this to someone or sell it, but... With that, and see, you see Linus and the wizard just hanging out up there. You can't talk to him, though. But I think I've spoken to everybody, so with that... There's nothing else really to do but head home. I get, I remember I gave Abby the golden pumpkin once, but she didn't like it. Which baffled me because she likes pumpkins. I was like, oh, I thought this was like a really big thing, but eh. Yep, yep, she doesn't want to talk. Um, I'm actually curious, is it good as a gift or is it just purely for selling? Oh, he wants to talk again. There's got to be a secret passage around here. Well, oh, sorry, I've already got it, but you can all stop searching and go home, losers. 
I got the golden pumpkin. I'm the best. Yeah, that's right, Pierre. Next time I'm coming for you, too. I'm lost. You, you just started! Ah. Alright. Well then, I think that about solves everyone. Let me double check. Yep. Alright, chatted with everybody. So with that, I think we can go on and head home. Wasn't that fun? We got us a golden pumpkin. We talked to everyone. Leave the Spirits Eve. Once you do, the festival will end. Yes. Golden bars. Oh, wow, it's already 12. Okay, take these, take these. Drop them off right here. And now let's get us some sleep. It's late. Hey there, Brocko. Go to sleep. Yes. Oh my god, 20 grand! Ah, well, 21 total, but ah, that's glorious. Oh, my pumpkin monies. And now, the last day of fall. Hopefully, Clint should have, who 30k. Oh, that's an impressive amount. That's a great amount. Alright, so, sadly, my stuff will not produce anything else on their final days. No eggplants, no corn. Goodbye, corn! I love you, corn! You were mine. I love you. Alright. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the better part of the day. Let me see if I can actually do this. Okay, first we're going to go see our... Ooh, they both gave big eggs. And they didn't eat. Hmm. Okay. Hey there, Henry. Hey there, Juju. Oh, no, you can't grab any more than it allows you. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Because all of this hay is going to die out tomorrow. We might as well harvest as much as we can. I wish I would have done with my gun with my gut instinct and bought a uh, second silo. Because look at all this. All this I could have foraged and saved for whenever I eventually get dairy cows and such and I will end up getting cows even though I don't like well the cows aren't that bad the goats aren't that bad I don't like the pigs the pigs are kind of eh not very spectacular for me but whatever <laughs> uh anything to chop down nope nope no trees have fully grown I don't see them all right well then, let's head into town and see what we've got. Oh, we can drop off the, uh, we can drop off this right here. And also, I think they'll take the large brown egg, too, at the community center. We'll find out, though. Oh, tomorrow's winter. <sighs> Whew. I'm trying to think about all the things that I want to get done. So many things to get done. Ooh, blackberries. Ooh, high quality blackberries. Good lord. I'm always finding high quality stuff and good quality for the most part. Okay, so. Let me think here. Oh yeah, that's right. The eggs are over here. So. Eggs. Big eggs. Quality crops. Nope. We already dropped off our pumpkins. That's right. Do, will they take the big egg? Yes, they will. Haha. -ha. So we just need the large milk or the duck eggs, which we need from a deluxe. Which I think we have plenty of cash now to get through the majority of winter without having to worry too much about anything. It's I've got a lot of stone saved up. I've got a lot of wood saved up. If I don't have enough, I'll go into the forest and I'll cut it down. But I have... Plans. Yeah. <laughs> Very great plans. I look forward to implementing. Alright, Clint, you got my stuff? Yes! Golden watering can! You received a gold watering can. Alright, so. Let me remember. I think it does four squares. Yeah, it does that. Okay. Trains passing through Stardew. On our way! Because they dropped good stuff. 
Hopefully they drop something good for us today. Oh, today's also a good day to process geodes, because I know I have them backed up. And there might be some more stuff that uh, Gunther may not have. Run, Alexander. Run. So, alright, it's going to be depressing watching all of my produce die out, and then there's not going to be really much to do for winter. Ooh, anything? Anything? Give me something. Give me something. Give me anything. Normally, they drop stuff. Okay. Really? Nothing? Wow. Bunch of cheapskates. I hate you all. Oh, whoa, I got hit. I got railed by that. Okay. That's, a uh, that's something never, never to do again. Alright then, huh. Okay. We won't do that anymore. I apologize. <laughs> Got railed by a bloody train. Ah, uh, well, I don't know what else to take it. Oh, I know what we can do also. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go out to buy salads. Because we need to be prepared for going back into the mines. Which, as we implied, are very, very, a uh, very dangerous. Need more, nope, oh, yep, high quality mayonnaise. Boop, oh, we need to drop off the pumpkin to Abby. I'm pretty sure she'd enjoy it. Abigail, we got you a pumpkin. Is she in her room? Nope, she's not in her room. She's in her mom's room. You're not enough friends with Pierre or Caroline to enter their bedroom. Okay. Oh, here she comes. Here you go, the last pumpkin of the season. I seriously love this. You're the best, Phelan. Yes, I am. Hmm, what should I do tonight? I was thinking about dyeing my hair again. What do you think? Dye it black? Why not blonde? How about bubblegum pink? I like you just the way it is. Uh... I honestly want to see if she goes pink, but I don't know if she would do pink because she's kind of like got that gothic vibe to her. Let's see what she says. You're always good for a laugh. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> well, fudge me. <laughs> uh, that's me. That's Valen, the jokester. You can't take anything I say seriously. I'm always good for a laugh. Ah, well fudge <laughs> but yes I looked up on the wiki and it seems like most people hate the golden pumpkin maybe they think you're rubbing it in their face of your victory but um even Abigail who it states on there even Abigail who loves pumpkins hates the golden pumpkin so it's only good for selling for what 2500 which we will end up doing uh coral Yes, we would take the coral. High quality coral. Once again, we have the touch of my... We have the Midas touch. Everything we touch turns to gold and cash in our fingertips. Uh, anything in here? Eh. Take all that. Take that. And throw this away. Alright, well, I don't think... There is anything else really to take care of. We've done the majority of everything. Unless we go into the forest and do a little harvesting. I understand that this episode may be a little, um, it may be short, but with the winter's even waiting for everything, but that was the high point of it all. So yeah, let's sell off our golden pumpkin. Let's sell off, actually, let's see if the gypsy lady's here. Are you here today, Gypsy? Yes, she is! What do you got for me? Ooh, strawberries. Okay, orange, copper bar, stuffing. Ah, the smell of warm bread and sage. Floured cali fried calamari, slime, jade, pub table. Eh, nothing else I really need. Eh, yeah, nothing that I really needed from her. Mostly I just use her to buy the fish that I can't, well, fish for. 
Well, goodbye, my precious farm. Goodbye, crops. Goodbye, uncut wheat. Or, you know. Un yeah, uncut wheat. Hey. Okay. I think with that, we're ready to... Well, let's water Brock, of course. Brock's probably really thirsty. There you go, Brocko. Let's get Alexander back to his stable. Sell off the golden pumpkin, coral, uncle, and drop off the clay. I think with that, everything is pretty much done. And we will be calling it a night. An early night for an early start tomorrow for winter. Go to sleep for the night, yes. And look, it's changed all to the background and it's all cold. 2,500. And with that, it will conclude today's episode. Next time, we're saying goodbye to fall now. And hello to the cold baron that is winter. I hope you're all looking forward to it as I am. As we begin to expand our farm. And use this time to go into the desert, which is for some reason always hot, of course to delve into the mines. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great evening. This has been Valen. See ya.